a very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger thank you for walking with me in a winter wonderland time for a walk not for a bike ride way too much snow way too slippery wearing boots gloves see my first snow walk for a while I've been outside last evening before nine o'clock of course to have a look but I thought to myself let's have a walk in the snow to see what's going on And it looks like it's quite a mess. Snow on the road, snow on the sidewalk, snow is partially cleared but not all. Let's walk on the sidewalk again. Hopefully the view is a little bit okay. Chest mounted camera. You can hear somebody play guitar. Probably in the belief that everybody likes his guitar playing. Open window. Well, it's snowy. There's been people walking here, bikes have passed here. Piles of snow. walk on the street for a bit snow everywhere and I, didn't, I do believe in the north of the Netherlands in Groningen city we did not get a lot of snow compared to the rest of the country by the way, it's cold. It's far below zero. Wind chill, well, minus five or six or so. Not going to be very long outside, but... Well, we'll look on straat. Covered in snow. Covered in snow over here. Bike lane is somewhat open. And well, let's go in the park. Probably uh, the pond is frozen over. Good idea to bring the chest cam. Then I have my both hands free when I fall to catch my, my fall. And I don't have to lift up the camera. That's also something that I do like to keep the camera on eye level. Well, the pond is still partially open, there's a wind which makes it freezing tight or closed, not an option. Birds are still outside, don't know how these birds keep warm. I do understand the feathers make them warm, but they're in the snow with their legs, and in the water with their legs. Don't know if that's something you should do. As we did that as a human, we'll have frostbite.
deliberately walking on the grass is deliberately walking on the grass to avoid people because I'm filming not everybody likes to be filmed so just try and avoid it if I can if not possible then they're on film gee it's cold damn dogs in the snow probably liking it very much The name of the dog was probably Diego. Diego was not on a leash and was very interested in the other dog. But Diego did finally listen to the owner and walk on. But if Diego decided other ways, other, otherwise, the owner could not have stopped him, I think. Well, big food fight between the pigeons, the crows and the ducks, or the crows, the seagulls and the ducks. Somebody is throwing bread at them. Food fight! Man, it's slippery here. Gee. Let's walk on the grass again. Normally I don't do that, but everything is frozen and it would be okay to do so. People still out and about for the fitness equipment using it. One has to continue. Let's have a look over here. Big birds sitting down eating stuff, looking at me, walking away from me. Don't you have cold feet animals standing on one leg? <laughs> another one is getting warm and the other one is getting cold. I'm probably gonna switch. When I went out yesterday evening, when it was dark, no filming, and also it was still snowing, so snow was hitting my face, my, my body, and luckily enough I did not take my camera with me. Otherwise it would have been covered with snow probably. Let's have a look at the time. By the way, it's Monday, February 8th. Seven minutes before one in the afternoon. I forgot that to mention in the start of the video. Now, not nice weather to get on the bike, so... On the other hand, I can see the street in front of me is sweet and it's open for cars and you could easily drive your bike there but before you get there you would have problems let's see if we can cross the road here car coming but let's go time enough to cross the road before it arrives well in the park 
Ooh. Well, about five or six centimeters, maybe ten centimeters of snow, that is. It's cold. Getting cold fingers. A little cramp in my left ankle or calf of it, it actually and not the left the right so I have to stop for a bit this is all sweet clean not sure why and who did it or there was never snow here I don't know you can see there is snow here all piled up 20 centimeters or so almost reached the top of my boot Phew. well I'm, say I'm very glad I don't have to go outside being outside is a choice now But for people who have to go to work in the early morning and in the afternoon, it was a bit of a struggle, I think. Fun fact, the sidewalk is clean and the street is still covered in snow. As you can see, well, there's some spots not covered but the sidewalk is quite accessible the problem with the snow was it was not a very sticky snow just powdery snow and we had a lot of wind wind force seven or eight which blows the snow to all kinds of places and as you can see these cars are covered with snow on the back side so the snow of the snow and the wind has to come from that way that way very happy that's not too busy by the way here's a heap of snow pile of snow let's see how deep it is Nice to see. Not so nice to see is a pile of dog poo. Big dog. Owner didn't care to take it with her or him. And now there's frozen poo. Nice when there's snow again, you're covered with snow. Somebody's making a nice snowball and grabbing the, the poo. This is a little bit more snow. You see, all blown to this place. Because when I continue, there is snow, but the grass is still visible underneath it. So the snow actually blew from that side to here. Her, cold, cold, cold. pulling on my hoodie on my jacket but it's underneath my jacket which is of course okay well some dog owner is I think walking his dog I don't see a dog this waterway is still open from Starkenborg canal it will stay open because it's a main shipping route from I see Lemmer in Friesland to the harbor in Delfzijl By the way, I heard some rumors that the water management in the Netherlands, and especially in Groningen, was trying to stop water movement by pumps to let freeze the, the ice on the Diepenring. 
you have in Holland in Groningen city the inner city which is surrounded by a deepened ring or sort of moat both roads on this the side of it and when it freezes over you of course can step on your skates I don't have skates I have nor the skills to be a good skater but it would be nice filming from the water or from the ice Maybe when there's a thick enough cover of ice I will probably do that walk there or bike there and step off the bike and go onto the ice and have a walk hopefully don't fall amazing this sidewalk is still clear one little pigeon looking for food it's hard for animals to get food on the hand there are enough open spots now for the water but on the on the land not so much Well, it's quite doable on the sidewalk, just like normal. But as long as you stay on the sidewalk, it's okay, at least for this. And again, a pile of snow all blown together. Like I said, that's the issue with the wind. Again, quite deep snow. Just put my leg in. As you can see, a big hole in the snow almost up to my top of my boot so let's walk to the side of it snow really like it By the way, when snow is yellow, don't touch it. This here. <laughs> well, somebody walking the bike. It's not doable riding the bike here, I think. building a snow fort stuff snow in there stack them put snow in between the clumps of snow that came out of the, the bucket and make a snow fort By the way, in Holland, it's not customary that people sweep their sidewalks in front of their homes clean. As you can see, some did and some do. Actually, by law, it was mandatory until, I think, 2006 or 2007. There's a law that you had to clean your sidewalk, your part of the sidewalk in front of your home. But it doesn't happen anymore. right through the snow that's the advantage of having rubber boots on by the way for people who like rubber boots I will try to show them rubbery boots covered in snow and if you don't like rubber boots well I'm sorry to have bothered it with you
not to bother you with it. sidewalk is quite clean here. It has to do with the fact that the snow was not blown to this area. I don't believe people did clean this all. See the boots a little. Well, zebra crossing. A pile of snow in front of the shop with a warning sign in there driving carefully in their hybrid car and there's the snow again piles of it Also here, a pile of snow. Actually, when I step in it, it would be higher than my, or deeper than my boots. And I would have snow in my boots, and that's not something I do like. I do have to walk a little to get out again. Wet feet. And snow is going to melt, my socks are going to be wet. Well, snow is still here, covering the sidewalk. By the way, yesterday, Sunday, uh, traffic for buses, trains and other pu public transport was halted. Not because of much snow, but because the tracks were frozen. The The signs and the switches, in Holland we call it whistles. And people were sent there with <laughs> equipment to free them, but it was undoable. So traffic was halted, probably from 12 o'clock on, it will be getting resumed. Not a pile of snow, this time man-made because this street was sweet. Street is clear, bike lane is clear. This is not man-made, it is done by nature. As you can see, the bike is up to the axles into the snow. Let's walk around it. Christ! It went a little over my boot. <laughs> Crap. You can see the bike covered in a heap of snow, a pile of snow. You can see how high it is. And now we have a face wind. Oh, just great. Wind in my face. The ventures are wearing boots and can go virtually anywhere. 
riding on the sleigh. Funny. Now the kid has to step off the sleigh because the snow stops. <laughs> There's no snow on the ground anymore. By the way, back in 1979 we had a also a snow problem, a much bigger one. People were snowed in and snow was actually in some cities or small villages on the on the countryside blown as high as the roof not the rooftop but the where the gutter starts of course single story houses except a down floor bare one floor and then a slanted roof on there By the way, did you check out my time lapse for the video I made yesterday from home with a time lapse of the snowfall? I actually had it in video lapse, time lapse, and set it up to make every five seconds a picture, and then it combines and it makes a video. I'm not, not edited yet, so could be that I'm going to speed it up or do something else with it. I'll just put it online and you have to have a look at it. I actually should put up this video quite early, so put it in between the normal cycle. Normal, I take videos and then I release them in order of date, oldest first and then up to the newest, but when I'm continuing that way and uploading two videos a week, this will air probably with Easter, which is somewhere in April I think. So maybe I have to edit this tonight and put this walk online. ASAP. That of course can be done, no problem. I think I will do that, at least the time lapse. And cut this walk, maybe in parts, I don't know. I'll see about that. see what time it is. It's a quarter past one. Or oh, 1.15 p.m. For the countries who don't use military time. Military time 1300 hours and 15 minutes. wire on their balcony. That person is walking with a bike in her hand. Looks like they have small tires so and no fenders. No wonder people are not cycling and it's uncyclable on this road. Let's have a look. It's all snow covered with it. No chance of biking, uh, riding your bike here. At least I won't try.
maybe with studded tires, but I don't have them. I do have a bike with white tires, but they do have fenders, and I now know when I'm going to ride the bike in the snow, all snow is going to be cling, clung or clung or stuck to the tires and also stuck to the fender. It's also not good for the bike. It's all kind of snow, but also salt. That's when the municipality trucks have probably put salt everywhere, and when they get that on the bike, well, the bag is going to rust twice as hard. On the hand, the bike I have is a Gazelle from 1963 and probably hasn't survived many winters. So, this winter should be no problem, but still I'm not going to try. walk around the road for a bit maybe on the sidewalk let's have a look at the sidewalk how it's it's going on there well, something sweet and a lot of it not sweet swept to swoop sweep swep and swopen I used to know that in English class all kinds of to sweep swept swept or something Textile. Well, nobody's gonna pick that up. It's a bag, a trash bag with old clothes in there, which donated, but probably will not be picked up anytime soon. I wouldn't. Phew! It was a nice walk, tough walk. Not only the snow, but like I said, my right ankle, calf, some problems, cramped up. Back in this area, on the sidewalk, snow, piles of snow in front of the door, Guitar Man is still playing. At least he can play. The sidewalk littered with bikes, like they always do here. When you're in a wheelchair, you're not even able to get past here, not even when there's no snow. Ridiculous. Well, I went to the Corveg yesterday evening. Let's have a look over there to see how the bike lane is and the street. Yesterday evening at well seven or eight or so I think maybe a little bit earlier it was covered in snow the bike lane was covered in snow and also the street was covered in snow except where where was some traffic gone by over it but looks a lot clearer now let's have a look I can see the sidewalk in the distance all can, can see a lot of snow here <laughs> cover the pile of snow blown to this area moped covered in it Let op in dit gebied met ingang van 1-3 betaald parkeren. Paid parking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 signs on one pole. How do they do it?
Well, the street is clear. <laughs> Look at these cars, man, covered in shit. Man, that's not good. Probably a snowplow ro road by here. People drive over the snow and it's spattered up. It does look quite bad. These cars in the distance are not covered at all. <laughs> really strange. Well, let's get back. Let's walk on the street. Let's see how that goes. Or on the other side of the street. Not covered with snow at all. Only a broom here. Hey. Deze kant is beter begaanbaar hoor. Ja, ja. Somebody from the neighborhood was walking in the snow and I told him that it's better to walk on this side. It's way better, less snow. All has to do with the wind yesterday. And it's more clear. People actually bothered to clean the road here. Let's go back in here. Hey, the camera up. Well, let's go to the area I started the video and stop it there. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Try to be safe out there. Enjoy the snow. Check out my description box. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. And I will see you next time.